What do the symbols on a dollar mean? What is a dollar bill? In this video, I will explain everything that you see on a dollar bill. If uh, you watched my previous video, USA History is a Lie, Blacks Enslaved Whites, then you'll know where money comes from. And to touch on that, money is from God's treasury, and on it is God's seal. You notice God's seal on money, you see it on your birth certificate, and you see it on your Social Security card. If uh, you haven't watched that video, you definitely should. And for this video, you should grab a dollar bill, and I'll explain the symbolism that you see on it. At the top of the bill, you see a Federal Reserve note stamped with uh, the United States of America. Uh, this is this note is legal tender for all debts. And what I want you to notice first on this dollar is notice the black jagged circle with a B inside. That B means it came from the Federal Reserve Mint in New York. The two that is next to the circle on the left appears four times on the dollar bill. And the B and the two tells us this note is backed by the Federal Reserve Bank of New York. There are 12 Federal Reserve Banks in the United States. And the B and the two act as a routing number would on a check. Uh, if you had a personal check, it has a routing number. And it tells the bank's location. Underneath that black jagged circle, notice the green 51934302 in between the two Bs. The Bs again tell you it's the Federal Reserve in New York. And the green number, the 51934302, is the account number it is to be drawn off. So the dollar bill in your hand is a check, a check for something that does have value. Most of us believe that it's gold, however, it's not. Okay, go over to the other side of the bill on the other side of George Washington's face and you will see a green seal under the number one spelled out. The stamp reads Department of Treasury that backs the one dollar bill. That green seal is the backing to that dollar. And if uh, you look at the seal on the pyramid, you see the scales of justice and you see a uh, pyramid and a key. You also see that it's on top of a shield, the shield representing protection whenever you see a shield. So it's got a shield and then on that shield is a pyramid, the scales of justice and a key. And that's what it's all about, folks. Pyramid, scales of justice and a key and a shield that protects them. I'll explain this image here with the images on the back of the dollar. But first, I'll finish up the front. Notice the number one on the top left side. Notice it is encircled, like enclosed. And notice the number one on the right hand side. It again is a shield, a protective shield. To the left hand side of the shield, there is an owl. That owl represents the secretive Bohemian Grove. Their god is an owl. And that owl is Isis, as I explained before in previous videos. Notice around the dollar bill that it encloses it. Well, it is a spider web, that web netting that goes around uh, the ones and it goes around the whole bill. That is the spider web. Well, if you know about the Bohemian Club and if you see their logo, it says no web weaving spiders here. Why no web weaving spiders? Because hunting spiders attack their prey and they do not weave webs and that's what they are and the last thing to notice is the leaves they are the olive branch leaves and those are the leaves represented as extending an olive branch in peace to work together the story goes back to ancient egyptian mythology two snakes were fighting in the desert. Those snakes were Seth and the bird snake Horus. Horus is also named Toth and Toth is Hermes. Hermes is Horus as I explained through other videos. So to extend an olive branch as a peace offering, that term and phrase goes back to the very beginning when 
the two serpents were fighting in the desert. Again, that's Seth and Horus. So Horus extended the olive branch to Seth. Seth is another name for Zeus, and you see him here with that olive branch. On to the back of the dollar bill. At the very top, you see the United States of America. In God we trust one in the middle of the dollar bill. What does that mean? In God we trust one God. On the dollar bill, there are three Latin phrases. First being annuit septus, meaning he approved our undertaking undertakings, our actions. He approves of our actions. The second is Novos Ordo Seclarum, and that is interpreted as a new order of the ages, or many people call it a new world order, and I believe them correct. And a third is E Pluribus Unum, out of one many, out of many gods, one stands tall is what that means on to the eagle first we'll start at the very top and you see there's an illuminated star star of david and it's in 13 stars the star of david is saturn and saturn is viewed in the occult as being satan the 13 represents the 13 zodiac signs. Most of us believe that there's only 12, but in uh, the occult, they use a 13 zodiac sign. So that's an illuminated star in the, the shape of the Star of David, and there is 13. And as I explained in other videos, the joining of Satan and Lucifer is Hermanibus. Anubis is Satan, and Hermes, of course, is Horus, and Horus is a part of the Egyptian gods which make up Lucifer. So the 13 is Lucifer, and the Star of David represents Satan. That's joined together. And then you have that E Pluribus Unum, which again, which means there is one out of many. One God came forward. Now, you look to the eagle, and you see that it has two spread out wings. First, on the right wing, it has 32 feathers. The 32 feathers represent the same thing as your local Freemason Lodge. You go down, you'll see it's a 32nd degree Masonic Lodge that's in your neighborhood. The left wing is 33. Now, they say that 33 is the highest form of masonry. 33 is Satan himself. The eagle's head controls the wings, and there is in the hidden books of the Bible, Estras explains that there was a three headed eagle and it had a fourth face in its stomach, and the one eagle overtook the other three. On to the shield. The shield itself is the Fassi symbol. Fasces meaning that there would be slavery. Slavery is coming. Go down to the eagle's tail feathers, and you'll see that there's nine tail feathers. Those nine tail feathers represent the Council of Nine. Now, the Council of Nine are the same thing as the 13 stars. Although the numbers are different, it's because God assembles the lesser gods as building blocks like Legos, takes them apart and reassembles them. If you read the Vetus, you can understand this very clearly. On to, in his right claw, foot claw, or his right claw, yes, he has an olive branch. I explained what that olive branch means. Again, there's 13 leaves on that olive branch. 13 again, representing starry universe which is lucifer and you the olive branch of course means you know there was a, a treaty agreement a peace offering that came forward and then in his left claw he has 13 arrows and those arrows fired into the ground as i explained in previous videos again you see those arrows being the cross 
and also the McDonald sign, another example of an arrow being fired into the ground. What are they? They are poison arrows. On to the pyramid of the dollar bill. And we'll start off with the words that are on there. First, uh, Anuit Septus. Anuit Septus. He has approved of our undertaking, approved of our actions. And the next one is Novus Order Seclarum. And that, again, is New Order of the Ages or New World Order. Go on to the pyramid at the bottom. It has the Roman numerals. That Roman numerals comes out to 1776, which was the beginning of this country. Also, the founding date of the Bavarian Illuminati. You see that it's a pyramid and you have the all-seeing eye. It's called, a lot of times you'll see it called the eye of providence. It's a word that is familiar with the Vedas. The Vedas providence referring to God. And you see that it's floating above the pyramid. Now we go back, and if you flip over the dollar bill from where this all-seeing eye is, you will see that seal that's on the other side, the green seal that is underneath the one. And it has the shield, the scale of justice. It has a pyramid and a key. Well, what is for the future, the new world order, that eye will go down and lock that pyramid, the scales of justice. If uh, you, you don't pass the scales, you'll be locked inside this pyramid. What the dollar bill is based upon is not the gold standard, but the souls of men. You see this with, it is God's seal that is on the dollar bill, that is on your social security card, that is on your birth certificate. And what that means is that money is based upon you. Well, how could money be based upon you? And if uh, you know about your birth certificate, it's bought and sold on the New York Stock Exchange. It doesn't make sense to most of us. Well, it entitles, and it's in the Hidden Bible, the Apocrypha Old Testament. And it states that we are entitled to a life of hard work and an afterlife of torture. And that afterlife of torture is sealed up within that pyramid.